What's going on, Jerome's? The NFL draft is on Thursday, so sites are getting their last seventh ra- seven round mock drafts out of the way. Pro Football Focus fired one up. Uh, their entire staff uh, uh, doing one, and also I-, I can never find the right spot to use one of my favorite memes because Jan Moss of Ted Lasso he always tells the truth because he's you know he's not rude he's just Dutch Mm. Uh, so for the Vikings, uh, they have uh, Sam Munson, uh, the Irishman, is going to be mocking uh, for the Vikings, which is fantastic. Uh, Several round mock draft. This d- thing does have trades, uh, so let's run through the first round. Uh, Bryce Young, Panthers, yes. Uh, Texans, Richardson, ooh, spicy. Uh, Tennessee Titans, Trevor for Stroud. Levis, the Colts, uh, quarterbacks, one, two, three, four, first time in NFL history. Uh, Cata uh, goes to the Seahawks uh, at five. Will Anderson falls to the Lions. That sucks. And what the hell, man? Uh, Spoon to the Raiders. Uh, Tyree uh, going to the Falcons. Ness, uh, Van Ness to the Bears. I've said that this is a fantastic fit. I've talked with a couple Bears fans. Uh, they, they don't want it. I don't understand it. Anyways, uh, Gonzo goes to the Eagles. That'd be a hell of a get uh, for them if he falls to 10. Uh, Skaronsky goes to the Cardinals after trading back. Uh, JSN, uh, ooh, Ooh, new, new BFF for uh, uh, Richardson. Uh, Quentin Johnston goes to the Packers as uh, they flip flop. Ooh, they got the first round draft pick flop. Uh, JPJ goes to the Patriots. Uh, Paris Johnson Jr. goes to the Jets. That's a fantastic get for them, man. I love it. Uh, Broderick Jones, the Commies. Darnell Wright, Steelers. Run on offensive tackles that everyone's predicting in the teens. Uh, Brian Branch falls to the Lions. All right, so the Lions get Will Anderson and Brian Branch. Bama, Bama. That, that's, that's very upsetting. <laughs> It is. Anton Harrison goes to the Bucks, replacing Donovan Smith. Nolan Smith goes to the Seahawks. I, I love that fit. Deontay Banks goes to the Chargers. Uh, pretty decent. Uh, and then uh, the Kalaja Kansas goes to the Raiders. That's going to be pretty good. It's going to be a pretty good, man. Uh, the Raiders traded up for that. And then uh, the Vikings at 23. Jordan Addison, the pride of USC. Na, 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 na. Uh, 2021 Blitnikoff Award winner. Mainly worked from the slot. Uh, working with Kenny Pickett at Pitt. Worked with Caleb Williams. Slot and the outside. Uh, this is what uh, Monson wrote. Jordan Addison may be undersized and without elite testing numbers, but he's good at the things that matter. Running roots and making plays on the field. He's a perfect complement to Justin Jefferson. I agree. I, I do love Addison. Well, for me, it's JSN, and then it's Addison, Zay, you know, Quentin Johnson, Josh uh, Downs, uh, all, all up in there. But Addison, uh, I think, would be the absolute perfect uh, running mate for Justin Jefferson long term. I think Addison is just really good at getting open and, and making plays and uh, making some yards after the catch as well. So uh, I think that he, I mean, he 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 won the Blitnikoff Award as a 19 year old. Which is really insane, man. So Addison added to the Vikings. Uh, I'm mad at that at all. Uh, rest of the first, uh, and then we'll go to the rest of the Vikings picks. Uh, Miles Murphy goes to Jacksonville. They're just going to keep shooting their shot on edge rushers, aren't they? Uh, Bengals trade up for Bajan. That would be quite upsetting. All right, so th- that would be a fantastic fit. Obviously, they'd be moving on from uh, Joe Mix in this situation. Uh, Kincaid goes to the Cowboys. Zay Flowers to the Bills. I love it. Forbes to the Giants. It's a pretty good fit. Brian Bruzzi goes to the Saints. Uh, Will McDonald to the Eagles. Uh, so the Eagles get Gonzo, Will McDonald. For shame. And then uh, BJ Ujolari uh, going to Kansas City. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Vikings, Vikings, Vikings. All right, at 87, uh, Vikings taking Keon White. Uh, super raw, edge rusher, uh, 6'5 and change, coming out of Georgia Tech, formerly at Old Dominion. And now... A little bit older of a prospect, but he is a physical freak. And if you're going to move on from Zadarius, if you're going to move on from Daniil, you know, Keon White would be a, a very interesting guy to bring. Uh, seven and a half sacks in 2022 for the Yellow Jackets. Also, he has versatility, can stand up, uh, can put his hand in the dirt, and would be a valuable asset for Flores' multiple front. And then uh, in the fourth round, uh, Vikings going cornerback at 119. Makai Blackman coming out of USC, a guy that they met with, done extensive work on. I love him a lot. Six foot, a buck 75. Uh, was formerly a Colorado, transferred to USC last year. Uh, three interceptions, 12 passes broken up in 2022. And I, I just love his attitude, man. I, I just do, and this is what they wrote. Makai Blackman is a tenacious corner who put up a 91.1 PFF coverage grade in 2022, allowing just a 46.1 passer rating when targeted. Uh, Minnesota is overhauling its secondary with a new scheme, and Blackman will be a useful addition. Uh, agree. 158. Let's get spicy. Let's get spicy. So, Vikings uh, didn't get uh, the big five quarterbacks. Where did Hendon Hooker go? If only there was a, a way that I could just search. Hooker. Uh, 61. Ow! 
falls the back end of the second round, man. Shoot. Go make a move. But he ends up in Las Vegas. Mm. Uh, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Stetson Bennett. Uh, so the Vikings miss out on DTR by one pick, but Stetson Bennett at 158 in the fifth round. Uh, this is what they wrote. Stetson Bennett is a baller, and while he has limitations, that likely mean he will never be more than a backup at the next level. There's a chance he could be more than that. <laughs> I, I love that. Uh, limitations, I mean he will be no more than a backup. Uh, there's a chance he could be more. Okay. Uh, the Vikings uh, want at least to test out what uh, – uh, test that out with Kirk Cousins nearing the end of his tenure in Minnesota. Now, I want to like Stetson Bennett more. I- I'm not really concerned about the off-the-field stuff. It, it just, well, uh, a guy his age should know better since he is older. But, you know, two-time national champion. Uh, he is going to be 26 years old this year. So the same concerns that you have with Hendon Hooker with age, with Jaron Hall with age is still there. Uh, also, small frame. Yeah, He doesn't really drive the ball on throws. So I, I just don't see it for him at the NFL level as a starter. But as a backup, sure. Uh, in fact, uh, I think it's, I saw that his NFL comp was Nick Mullins, which – Okay, if you're drafting a guy to be a long-term backup, sure, but have there be no illusion that he's going to be the guy. Like you're not just going to uh, stand pat next year in the draft at quarterback just because you have Stetson Bennett, unless he really shows up and shows out uh, in camp uh, this year. And then at two eleven, uh, sixth round, uh, Vikings taken Terrell Smith, uh, the cornerback from the University of Minnesota, and he did himself some great favors uh, in the uh, in the draft process. Six one two zero four, good size, good strength, uh, plays the run very very well. Could transition to safety long term, but the Vikings uh, adding some bodies uh, in the secondary. So uh, this is how things turned out. For a PFF seven round um, uh, mock draft, uh, Addison at twenty three, Keon White at eighty seven, uh, Blackman and Terrell Smith uh, at, at in the secondary fourth and sixth round respectively, and then Stetson Bennett uh, picked up uh, as a quarterback. I don't know, maybe as a future backup, maybe if thing everything clicks, maybe it could be more than that. Maybe you're looking for the next Brock Purdy, all, all that stuff. But uh, Stetson Bennett in the fifth. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, take a look at PFF's seven round uh, mock draft. Uh, how the Vikings do. And let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.